All right, cappuccino. Um, I just made a video and that's why this is already written out, but then I started coughing and I decided I better just start over. Okay, so we are going to do converting between Cartesian polar and Euler forms of our complex numbers using the graphing calculator. So it's really super easy. Okay, so here I am in Cartesian form. So this is Cartesian, also known as rectangular. Okay, rectangular form. And we're going to convert it to polar or Euler form. So first of all, what you want to do is check your mode and see if you are in radians or degrees. The first time through, I'm going to do it in radians. So make sure that you are in radians if you want to be in radians and you're in degrees if you want to be in degrees. So right now, oh, I'm not in radians. So I'm going to change that to radians and second quit. Now I'm going to type in my rectangular form, one plus square root of three. And be careful here when you're typing it in. If I type I right now, it's gonna be underneath the square root and I don't want it to be underneath the square root. So I'm gonna use my little arrow to get out from under the square root. And I is right here. It's above the decimal point, okay? Can you see that? It's above the decimal point. So I'm gonna do second decimal point. And that's how I get my I, okay? So second decimal point, if you wanna write that down. Now I have my number in there. I am now going to go to math. So here is the math button right here, math. And I'm gonna choose complex, complex. And notice my choices down here at the bottom are the two we're interested in. I'm in rectangular, so I don't want that one. I want to go to polar, so I'm going to select option seven, where I can just get down there, option seven, and then hit enter. And here it is. Wait a minute. That doesn't look like polar, right? That's Euler form. So it actually gives it to you first in Euler form. So you can see I wrote that down here. So here it is in Cartesian form. And then I type it in. I ask it to give me polar form, and it gives me Euler form. Sweet. But that's okay because it's super easy to change to polar form. Here's polar form. 2, cis, 1.05. Notice I rounded it off to three significant figures, which is a problem. That's an issue. You don't want to do that if you're going to be using the answer to do something else with. Okay, so you would want to write down every single one of those digits if you're going to use this in another calculation. Okay, you don't want to round it off to three significant figures unless that's your final answer. Okay, so what though if I uh, wanted it in degrees? What if I wanted the answer in degrees? So here it is, this is what I'm gonna get in degrees and I'll show you how. Again, I'm gonna type in one plus square root of three. Get out from underneath my radical, second decimal point to get my I. Oops, can't see that too good. Okay, there it is. So now I'm gonna hit math, complex, Option seven for polar. And, oh, I forgot to change it to degrees. Duh, sorry. Mode. <laughs> that was dumb. Okay, change it to degrees and run through it again. One plus square root of three. I. All right. Math. Complex. Option seven. Okay, now fingers crossed. Bam, there it is. Okay, so 2e60 to the i. So I got this problem from the other video that you should have taken notes from already. And if you were paying attention there, you know that we got an answer of pi over th um, three radians. And pi over three radians is the same as oh, 60 degrees. Bam, there it is on my graphing calculator. Okay, so when I do it in when I ask, when I have my calculator, the mode set in degrees, it gives me the Euler answer with degrees, 2e60 to the i, which then I can change to polar form, 2 cis 60. Okay, we can also go backwards. If I have the answer in polar and I want it in Cartesian, I can do that. But I can't, I don't know how to type it in like this. So instead I first have to convert it to Euler form. So here's my two cis 1.05 and Euler form becomes two E to the 1.05 I. 
and check out what happens. Um, first of all, this is in radians and it's got to be in radians. I couldn't make it work in degrees. I had to have it in radians. So maybe there's a way to make it work in degrees, but I kept getting the wrong answer when it was in degrees. So when you're doing this um, converting back to Cartesian, have your angle in radians. So if you have it in degrees, convert it to degrees first and then enter it in radians. Okay, so I rewrote it in Euler form and now I can type that in two and I'm gonna do second function natural log that gets me my e to the whatever and my whatever is 1.0. And remember I said, if you're gonna do something with this, use more than three significant figures. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to copy this in 47197551. And then don't forget the I, second I. And now I'm going to hit enter because I don't want to be still up in the exponent when I do whatever's next. So I'm going to hit enter and look what happens. Bam! Right away it gives it to you in Cartesian rectangular form. Okay, so there it is. So I didn't even have to go to math complex and then ask for it in rectangular form. It gave it to me. Just by typing it in in Euler form and hitting enter, it gave it to me in Cartesian form. So Z equals one plus 1.73. If I'm rounding off to three significant figures, I. So there's my complex number in Cartesian rectangular form. Um, notice it didn't give it back to me as a square root of three, because this is what we started with. We started with the square root of three. So when I'm doing it on my graphing calculator, I'm not getting an exact answer, which is not great. So sometimes it is better to do it by hand. But if you don't have sweet, you know, numbers like square root of three, square root of two, stuff like that, if you don't have that to begin with, no worries, decimals are fine. So this is basically the decimal equivalent of one plus the square root of three i, okay? So there it is, backwards and forwards. And again, like I mentioned, I couldn't get this to work correctly um, when I used degrees here, when I typed in my Euler form with degrees, it gave me something kind of crazy. I don't know why, so somebody can help me with that. All right, that's it.